In my previous videos, a lot of you have asked me, how do you create these amazing effects? Are they made using Filmora? Well, the answer is yes. All these effects are made using Filmora. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create these video effects, so you can level up your editing skills. I've split this video into four parts. So let's get started with the first effect, how to create these zoom movements. Alright, let's get started. I've added my screen recording footage to the timeline. Next, find the point where you want to add a movement. In my case, I want to zoom into the settings panel to show you more clearly what settings I use to make this animation. So, I select this area to create the movement. First, go to the start point where you want the zoom to begin. Then, add a keyframe. To add a keyframe, hold the Alt key and select the layer like this. You'll see that keyframes are created on all these settings. Now, move 30 frames forward and increase the scale a little bit, let's say to 140. Also, adjust the position to the top right corner like this. We've created our movement, but it doesn't look smooth yet. To fix this, go to the keyframe panel, select all these keyframes, and add a curve or ease out graph. Here, I'm adding an ease out graph. Now, you can see the movement is much smoother. That's how we make this zoom movement. If you need to make another one, simply create a keyframe, move 30 frames forward, adjust the scale and position as needed, and finally, adjust the key graph. And that's it. That's how we can make smooth zoom movements. Now you know how to add smooth zoom movements to your videos. Now, let's move on to our second effect. How to creating this wiggle text effect. This one's super easy. To start, simply add a text layer and customize it to your liking. Then, you'll want to change this text layer to a compound clip. To do this, press Alt plus G, then name it, let's say text1, and hit OK. Next, we'll add the wiggle effect. Head over to the effects panel, select video effects, then select shake. Choose the mild effect and apply it to your compound clip. In the effect settings, you can adjust the frequency as needed. For example, I'll change it to 2. Also, make sure to disable the RGB separate option. And there you have it. That's how you can create a wiggle text effect. As an extra touch, you can even add a glow effect to further highlight your text, like this. Alright, let's dive into the next step, creating a pop-up animation. This one's really cool. In my case, I want to add pop-up animation to this settings panel to the center. To do that, we'll start by duplicating this layer. Then, add a rectangle mask to this duplicated layer and adjust its size to match the settings panel. Now that we've added the mask, we can move it as needed. Let's adjust the scale and position. I'll change the scale to 160 and position it like this. To make the this panel clearer, let's add some blur to the background. First, bring this top layer to the third layer. Then, head over to the effects panel and search for the square blur effect. Apply it to the second layer. Now you can see it looks much clearer. Next, add a drop shadow. Set the shadow color to black, distance to 3, and blur to 10. Now, let's animate it. Go to the ending point and create keyframes for scale, position, and the drop shadow. Then, go to the beginning and reduce the shadow opacity to 0, and reset the position and scale to default values. We also need to animate the blur effect. Go to the ending point, create a keyframe on opacity, and bring it down to 0 at the start. Finally, let's adjust the key graph. Go to the keyframe panel, select all these keyframes, and add the ease out graph. And there you have it. That's how you create this pop-up animation. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do. So now you can try it. Alright folks, let's move on to the final effect, creating a 3D screen effect. First, I've added a video clip, and I've added a mask to it. Adding a mask is optional, but if you're using one, you'll need to change this layer to a compound clip. Simply press Alt plus G to create a compound clip, name it, and hit OK. Now, let's see how to create the 3D effect. Head over to the Effects panel, select Boris FX, then select Particles. Choose the BCC Wildcards effect and apply it to the compound clip. Next, go to the Effects settings and select Array. Bring down the number of card X and Y values to 0. Then, you can adjust the scale as needed. After that, navigate to the Wildcard settings and change it to one card. You can create the 3D effect using the tumble and spin settings. Additionally, you can add spin animation to this. For example, go to the start, create a keyframe on spin with a value of minus 10. Then, go to the end and change it to something like 5. As an extra touch, you can add a drop shadow. And there you have it. So guys here's the final look.
These are the amazing effects you can easily create using Filmora. I hope you found this tutorial informative and inspiring. Now, take a moment to appreciate all the effects we've covered in this video. They're simple yet effective tools that can elevate your editing game. If you enjoyed learning these techniques, don't forget to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Your support means a lot and motivates me to create more content for you. I also want to thank everyone who has shared their video ideas with me. Your feedback is invaluable, and I'm excited to bring more of your requested content to life soon. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, keep creating and exploring the world of video editing.